Hi guys, uh, we're going to go ahead and uh, continue our quadratic function unit. Uh, we are going to come back to graphing a, a quadratic function. So uh, remember, the, the graph of a quadratic function is a parabola. Some of them open up and some of them open down. Okay, that's just how life is. Uh, so uh, in this case, uh, we have a quadratic function that's not in vertex form. And at a first glance, it bums me out. Uh, but it's not vital that it is in vertex form. So we're not going to complete the square so we can fix it so it's in vertex form. Uh, what I like to do uh, on a personal note, which kind of means what I like to do, is uh, if I have a quadratic function and I'm asked to graph it, and if it's not in vertex form, then we're just going to focus on the vertex formula. So the vertex formula is this. Uh, to find the vertex, uh, we're going to find negative b over 2a comma f of negative b over 2a. Okay. So pretty much what this is saying is this. To find the x value you're going to find negative b over 2a. Um, this b and this a comes from the coefficients of the, of the um, quadratic function in standard form, ax squared plus bx plus c. And then to find, um, so yeah, so coming back. So to find the x coordinate of the vertex, we're just going to find negative b over 2a. And then to find the y value of the vertex, then just plug in this uh, for the function, okay? So what I remember uh, for the vertex formula, I don't remember all of this. I just remember x equals negative b over 2a. Now, should I memorize the, the equation of the axis of symmetry? I don't. I just remember that the axis of symmetry is, is the vertical line that goes through the vertex. Oh, I should have made it dash. Sorry, I'm still a little nervous. Cool. All right. So uh, the fun problem, fun and only one, fun, the one and only problem reads: uh, graph the quadratic function. Please locate at least three points on the graph. Three points? Oh no! Let's change that to five. Cool. Uh, please locate at least five points on the graph. Identify the vertex and axis of symmetry. And if that wasn't enough, let's go ahead and state the domain and range. Okay. Uh, first things first, um, it, it's always nice if we have a sense if the parabola is supposed to open up or down. And to uh, determine that, we are going to identify the leading coefficient or the value of A. Okay. So the value of A is negative 1, focusing on the negative sign. So if the leading coefficient is negative, that's not going to make me happy. It's going to make me sad. And when i sad, you know, I throw a frown or however, whatever word I'm looking for. Okay? So if the leading coefficient is negative, that means that the parabola is going to open down. So when we do the math, our graph should be opening down. If not, then we check our arithmetic. Okay. So with that being said, let's go ahead and identify the vertex. So to find the vertex, I'm going to remember the vertex formula. X equals negative B over 2A. That's not a 2. So in the problem, uh, we have the negative sign uh, centered. Uh, we have the negative sign in front of the number centered about the fraction bar. But I just like to put it with the numerator because it's easier for me to digest. Okay, so let's identify uh, A and B. So A is the leading coefficient. B is the coefficient of the X term. And we don't need a reference to C, but out of habit, I'm going to identify it. C is the constant term. So let's go ahead and find the, excuse me, let's go ahead and find the X coordinate of the vertex. So we have X equals negative B. B is negative 8. In this case, make sure you have two negatives. The first one comes from the problem. The second one comes from the value of B, which is negative 8. The popular mistake is that students will just write negative 8 because you're like, oh, look, you got a negative sign. And yeah, no, no, check yourself. All right. And that's all over 2 times A. Value of A is negative 1. Let's keep our cool and then simplify this. So that will give us the uh, opposite of negative 8 is positive 8. And the quotient of 8 and negative 2 will give us negative 4. I'm going to go ahead and highlight this. So we have found the x coordinate of the vertex. But now I want to know what's the y value of the vertex. So let's go ahead and uh, evaluate this function at negative 4. I'm terrible when it comes to math. So I'm not really good about plugging and chugging. So I'm going to write down the function, and then with confidence, we'll evaluate this function at negative 4. 
So when x is negative 4, what is the value of this function? Let's go ahead and substitute a, a negative 4 for the input of x. And you got a calculator. Uh, go ahead and use it. Um, I'm just going to try to uh, do this. Square of negative 4 is 16. Product of uh, negative 8. It looks like 81. Product of negative 8 and negative 4 will give us 32. And minus 9. Uh, I have no time for mental math, so I'm going to go ahead and use my calculator, and when we do, that will give us a 7. 25, yeah, that will give us 7, okay? So that will give us a y equals 7. So the vertex will be given by negative 4, 7. Let's go ahead and uh, graph it. Okay, so where am I? Negative 4, 7. So 4 to the left, 7 up. Okay, this graph paper is not working for me. Okay, cool. So we have established that the parabola is supposed to uh, open down, so our math better dictate that. Okay, so for fake extra credit, let's go ahead and graph the axis of symmetry. So uh, in this case, you don't have to graph it. Uh, I choose to because uh, it helps me uh, to quickly identify additional points with ha without having to uh, crunch in numbers. So axis of symmetry, a gentle reminder, uh, the axis of symmetry is the, the vertical line that goes through the vertex, okay? So let's go ahead and do a table of values, okay? Where am I? Uh, do I have space here? Yeah. Okay. So the first x value that I'm going to pick is negative 4. When x is negative 4, uh, y should equal 7. We're not going to evaluate it again. Um, let's go ahead and pick any x value. Uh, I guess we could pick like negative 3 because it's close to the axis, but uh, I'm still going to keep picking my favorite x value, 0. Okay, so when x is 0, what is the value of this function? So let me go ahead and write down the function again. We have negative x squared minus 8x minus 9, and we want to find f of 0. So that will give us a negative a square of 0 less 8 times 0 minus 9. These give us 0, so that will give us negative 9. Hopefully, we have space to lock it in, okay? So I think we do. So 0, negative 9, we're going to go ahead and stay put, okay? We're going to go ahead and stay put and then go down 9 units. So we barely made it, but hey, we're on the graph paper, so we're good. So now to quickly locate an additional point, we're going to go ahead and uh, reflect this point about the axis of symmetry. So in this case, this point is 1, 2, 3, 4 units away from the axis. So when we reflect, we should be 4 units away. 1, 2, 3, 4. So if I know how to count, it's right there. Okay. All right, so now let's go ahead and pick another x value. And I would love to pick my next favorite one, which is 1. But um, if you use your imagination, so the parabola is opening down. If I pick x equals 1, I'm going to be out of bounds. So um, I have no choice. So I'm going to have to pick uh, uh, something um, to the left of 0. Um, I'll stick with negative 1, maybe negative 3, maybe negative 2. It just depends on the mood that I'm in. So I'm going to go ahead and pick negative 1. Okay, I'm running out of space. Okay, so uh, I think we had said uh, let's pick negative 1. Okay, so when x is negative 1, what is the value of this function? So f of negative 1 gives us a uh, negative square of x minus 8 times x less 9. That will give us, uh, where am I, 1, uh, let's just punch it in, okay? And our calculator gives us negative 2. We already passed basic math, so we can punch it in, okay? So when x is negative 1, the value of this function is negative 2. Let's go ahead and locate that, okay? So we go 1 to the left and 2 down. So we have four points. Uh, let's go ahead and reflect it about the axis of symmetry so we can uh, have our fifth and final point. So this point is uh, one, two, three units away from the axis. So when we reflect, you know, we're like this. Uh, you can't see my hand. Oh, no, you don't have no time for that. Okay. So when we, uh, we reflect it, we should be one, two, three units away. One, two, three, which should be right there. Okay, if I use my imagination when we connect those points, we're definitely going to have a parabola that opens down. Now, in my other two graphs, uh, my graphs have been terrible because I'm a little bit nervous. But uh, I'm going to go ahead and rotate this paper in an effort to have a nicer graph. We'll see how that works. And if it doesn't work, then um, I'm out of excuses. Okay. All right. So no pressure. Okay.
or oh, silence yeah yeah th th that's how concentrate uh, uh, that's how much focus I need uh, yeah it would have been nicer if I went in one go let me just go ahead extend this side and I'll put an arrow extend this side and I'll put an arrow okay so I'm pretty sure yours looks a lot nicer but it's okay I try my best well, it, uh, it could have been worse okay so uh, let me see if we nailed everything so we grafted uh, we grafted cool uh, locate at least five points one two three four five so we did the math for three and then bounced it off for two more so the first one came from the vertex the second one came from math the third one came from the reflection the fourth one came from more math and the fifth one came from the reflection cool identify the vertex uh, we do have the vertex but this problem is phrased as a fill in the blank so let's go ahead put it okay so the vertex uh, is negative four seven axis of symmetry uh, I, I failed to uh, write it here so this is a vertical line that requires that the value of x is negative 4 so in this case the equation of the axis of symmetry is given by x equals negative 4 so remember uh, the popular mistake is that students just write uh, negative 4 but negative 4 uh, is it, not uh, an equation and um, that's not going to be the graph of a vertical line uh, domain um, we can either say it's a polynomial function, so it's from negative to positive infinity, or we can look at the graph. So it looks like we are grabbing all the negative x values, and we're also grabbing all the positive x values. So the domain is from negative to positive infinity. Cool. The range uh, is going to be the set of all the outputs or all the y's going from bottom up, the lowest value to the highest value. The lowest value of y is a lie, but we're coming from the negative side. So it's going to be from negative infinity to whatever this function value is. Uh, it's uh, 7. Okay. So it's going to be from negative infinity to 7, where 7 is included. Negative infinity to 7. Where, oh sorry, uh, so the range is given by the interval from negative infinity to 7, where 7 is included. So I think we uh, touched base on everything from the problem, so we're good to go. Thanks guys.